Robert lives in a care home. He's 83 years old. No one listens to him or takes any notice when he tells the staff that he doesn't want to stay in bed all day with his bed rails up. The bed rails stop him getting out of bed when he wants to, and he wasn't allowed out of the home to meet with friends and family. Robert asks for an advocate to help him. The advocate supported Robert to put his points to the care home staff and helped him challenge their decision to confine him to his bed in his room. Within two weeks, the bed rails had been taken down and Robert was free to get in and out of bed as he pleased. He was very happy because he enjoys other people's company in the day room. The advocate also arranged for his family to take him for a trip out to the Tate Gallery. He had a lovely time and was back in the home in time for tea. Corto is in her 60s and has been diagnosed with dementia. She no longer communicates using words, as Corto wasn't really able to look after herself in her own home any longer, even with support being provided. She needed to move into other more suitable accommodation, although her family and her social worker didn't think that Corto would be able to be involved about the decision on where she should live. Her advocate felt it was crucial to try. The advocate communicated with Corto by tapping on the table and by gauging her facial and other responses to photos, objects and pictures. They created a talking mat that showed her likes and dislikes about where and how she wanted to live. Arrangements were then made to suit Corto's wishes. She's now happy in her new home. Ali is 19. He has autism and mental health problems. He lives at home with his mum and his five brothers. It's difficult for him, as it's a busy, noisy environment, and lots of people come and go, and he's not really sure who some of these people are. He doesn't really like all the noise and all the unfamiliar people. On the day, Ali gets his benefits money. One of his brother's friends always comes round. He takes the money off him and says he'll look after it for him. But he only gives Ali two pounds a week, which means Ali is unable to go out and meet his friends. The person who takes the money says Ali will be in big trouble if he tells anyone. Ali cuts himself because of the worry. Ali shared with his advocate that he was sad he couldn't see his friends as he didn't have any money. The advocate asked gentle but probing questions. After their discussion, Ali agreed he would raise a safeguarding concern and the advocate would help him to do this. Safeguarding is where you let the local authority and other agencies know about not being safe from abuse, and agencies work together to stop people being harmed. Six months later, that person is no longer allowed to go to Ali's house, which is now quieter, and not so many people come and go. He now has more support for his worries and anxieties, and his family understand more about his struggles and how to support him.